Good morning. Welcome to Senate Rules Committee. Uh, we got a, we're going to prepare the calendar for Friday, and then Friday at our dinner break or around 6 o'clock, we'll prepare the calendar for Monday, just to let you know. Today we have a lunch provided to all the Senate, any senators and staff that are here today. And as I told you yesterday, it'll be a nutritious varsity lunch in the mess. You, you can see that I'm a varsity kind of eating guy. So anyway, if you'd join me and uh, um, going to the Lord right now, if you'd bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for these wonderful people that have given their life and time to help the people of Georgia by being elected to the state senate. I am honored to be one of their colleagues, and we're going to try to pick bills that will only help people of Georgia. If you would uh, be with us today and forgive us of our sins and be with our family and our loved ones while we're down here working, we would all be grateful. We love you and thank you for all the, the blessings that you have given us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. All righty. Let's see. First is... Uh, Let me say that I need to do a little meditation before we start our today's meeting, so I'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> I wanted to um, highlight my staff, uh, Madeline and Daniel and Caroline, and today is Caroline's birthday, if you'd help me wish her. All right, I hope I've embarrassed you enough. You may go now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All righty. I'd like to hear from uh, one of my seasoned veterans, my good friend who has who has made me into the legislator that I am today. Senator, uh, uh, what's his name again? <laughs> Ed Harbison. <laughs> Would you give us, uh, tell us about your bill? I'm moving this to section one. What's the number? 237. SB 237. Uh, this is a bill dealing with uh, uh, license plates for uh, rangers. And what happened was, we passed a bill last year, but that bill didn't have a revenue sharing aspect to it. And this all that this is what this does. That's all it does. And I ask for your consideration. The Rangers, uh, 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 Colonel Bob Portishev, who uh, recently deceased uh, last year, asked me to do this because of the Rangers. Did y'all have anything to add over here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wasn't saying that. You probably were. All right, I apologize. Since That's all right. Because right. I know this is serious, and the Rangers have done a lot to help America be the country it is today. No, no doubt about it. And this is just a little effort to help them and recognize the efforts for their contributions to the United States of America. That's all. And then a question for bill. the dean of right. the Senate. Not because of age, but because of tenure. What is the, what is the number? It is uh, 260. No, 237. 237. Yeah, Senate. Yeah. 
All righty. Thank you, sir. Have thank a, you. Thank we you, have sir. some varsity here shortly, okay? I appreciate it. I'll be back. Right, thank you for your courtesy, right, sir. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank you. All righty. Let's see. Give me the, the, give me the list. If I can copy it. Oh, this. I don't have. Oh. All right. Senate Bill 75. Senator from the 30, 31st, the 41st. Are they here? Senator Jackson? Okay. Hey, uh, y'all might want to tell her she needs to come to these meetings. Isn't it? Okay. Senate Bill 78, the Senator from the 22nd. Hold it, hold it. What number are you back there? Nine. Nine. All right. Thank you. Continue on. Specifically, a target oh, person okay. to a pornographic website makes it a felony. All righty. Any question for the author? And I've just been informed that 237 uh, for Senator Harbison is not available yet because it hadn't been second read yet. So we'll pick it Friday. Okay. Thank you. I don't get in trouble with David Cook because he is a, a stickler for doing everything uh, black and white, and I'm just I'm a gray area kind of guy. <laughs> All right. Not a, um, <laughs> Senate Bill 92, Senator from the 29th, the, the Georgia's Columbus. The, the joke from uh, Louis Guzard about, I see you're from Columbus, and it was Columbus, Ohio. Anyway, and if, uh, everybody's too young for uh, Louis Guzard, apparently. No, sir. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Chair. <laughs> Hold on. Indeed, indeed. He died before his time. All right, and you've got a couple of them on here, I believe, don't you, Senator? Yes, sir, I do. I, I, there, actually, there's three, Mr. Chair, and I'll, I'll run through them. Uh, the right. first one is uh, Senate Bill 92 that we passed through last year. It manages and helps control uh, DMX, which is a uh, cough syrup being abused by, by a lot of our uh, young people. Uh, Senate Bill 152 corrects an error that was made uh, many years ago when our Georgia pledge was created. And uh, this would straighten that, that error out and also hopefully encourage our friends across the hall to start pledging allegiance to our flag every day. Yeah, baby. Um, and That's then Senate Bill 210 on the backside is uh, motor vehicles and traffic. It deals with the digital license plate that was also in, in, the, uh, in our chamber's last session. And uh, it's an incredible uh, public safety tool, especially to recover stolen vehicles and uh, children who may have been uh, part of an amber alert and things of such all right any questions all right continue on now you know those that, are those are the three uh, mr chair the senator who's the chair of rules is the one who advocated to put the pledge for the georgia flag in the senate rules many years ago and and i think it it gets us refocused every morning when we take that pledge to remember who we who we're here serving and right. that's why i think it's an important thing yeah. continue on yeah uh, th those are the three uh and i would appreciate any consideration all right, any questions? Thanks, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. All righty. Um, we're going to, uh, I'm going to hold on Senate Bill 102. Uh, Senate Bill 142. Uh, okay, this is mine. This is uh, sports wagering. I hate the word betting. Sports wagering that came out of uh, uh, regulated injuries. would like to thank the committee and Senator Cowser for uh, moderating that to make sure it was a better bill. Any questions on that? Yes, ma'am. What number? Eight. Eight. I'm near side. I can't see it far. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I noticed that we also have SR 135. Is um, S SB 142, is that enabling or is it the separate legislation? Well, this is enabling, and the other is the constitutional amendment. Okay, thank you. And we can talk about that now since you brought it up. The, the constitutional amendment. Crap. So it is. Yeah, Senate Resolution 135, and again, that, that will make put it on the ballot, and of course, that'd be 2022, and I recommend you read that, because uh, I think uh, it really is, uh, focuses on the HOPE Scholarship, but it is for rural health care and others, but the HOPE Scholarship will be all sides of the HOPE Scholarship. All right, moving on. Let's see, Senate Bill 145. Senator from the 28th. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, 
What number? Number seven. Gotcha. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, 145 does two things. It takes the petition for package sales. Uh, currently, is 35% of registered voters in a particular county or municipality. Uh, we're lowering that percentage from 35 to 20 percent and then it adds a second option where locals uh, local county government or local city government can put it on the referendum by way of ordinance or resolution okay any questions for the author moving on thank you all righty let's see senate bill 150 all right i got you senate bill 153 senator 27 Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senate Bill 153 is an effort to establish a long-term funding mechanism for the three dropout uh, charter schools we have here in the state of Georgia, Mountain Ed, Foothills, and Coastal Plains. It transitions them to a new type of charter school called a Goal Academy and establishes a dedicated and uh, separate funding formula for them. We have negotiated between the Lieutenant Governor's Office, myself, and the three charter schools and have letters of, of support from all three of those schools. Any questions for the author? Hearing none, thank you, Senator. All righty, Senate Bill 156, uh, Senator from the 16th. He's been very busy this year. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this bill uh, establishes a, another position appointed by the governor, approved by the Government Oversight Committee to help the Commissioner of Labor uh, in getting out unemployment and helping his employees that have been overburdened due to all the unemployment issues that's there and releasing that money. So that's uh, uh, what 156 is about. I also have one other. Could I go ahead and cover yes, that sir. one? This one is one that we need for uh, good What's help. What's the number? Uh, SR 143, back page, bottom of page two, is the General Assembly chaplain. It's an oh. official, uh, making it an official position for him, and we need all the help we can get, sir. Amen, brother. Any Thank you, questions sir. on either one of them? Thank you, sir. All right, Senate Bill 158, let freedom ring. I can almost hear that in, in song. Senator from the 10th, I don't see him here. Anybody would like to tell us about that? Uh, that's kind of easy, but I'll do it. It's a great compromise to put a, a bail paid for by private money on top of uh, Stone Mountain. Uh, hey, give it to me because I, I wasn't there for the explanation. So it, it's been uh, in the works for a number of years. They've raised the money independently. It won't cost the uh, state uh, anything, and they've got money to put in a uh, a trust or a fund to for the upkeep as well. Okay. So. But I, I think the, the sponsor of that bill would prefer that bill be called on Friday for Monday, I think, if that's... Are you certain? I'm, I'm positive. Okay. I'm certain. If he talked to you. He talked to me. Yes, he, he did talk to me personally. Is he joining the Republican Party? I mean, why wouldn't he talk to the senator from the 55th? Well, I, because I went to him <laughs> and asked him about it. I went to him and asked him about it. And, um, I shouldn't have said that, should I? Damn right. <laughs> okay. He, uh, excuse me. Dang right. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. Well, uh, we'll hold to Friday. She said I'm usually bipartisan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. Uh, Senate Bill 163, the senator from the 17th. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Senate Bill 163 provides a way we can start conducting criminal jury trials again after the public health emergency has expired. Make your prosecutors, judges, and your prisoners all happy with this bill today. The prisoners? I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Mm. They'll get all their right. day in court. Uh, I see. Any questions for the author? Thank you much. Thank you. Senator from uh, Athens, Georgia's Athens, Senate Bill 166, Senator Cowser. This is a bill that uh, deals with jury selection processes to make sure the juries are not biased uh, against insurance or in favor of insurance. It just lets it be done on a form instead that? of open court questioning. Any <coughs> questions for the author? Thanks, Senator. Senate Bill 165 that I just missed from Senator from Dahlonega. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, this is the bill you've already seen last year. It deals with the uh, strobe lights on top of a slow moving electric vehicle. It just makes it optional and uh, pretty simple, one liner. Any question for the author? All right, Senate Bill 200, Senator from the 31st. Atta baby. I gotta quit saying that. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Senate Bill 200 basically creates a pathway for small businesses and churches to stay open during a state of emergency uh, in Georgia. So it's basically codifying kind of what, we're, what those groups are experiencing right now. Thank there could you. be a lot of emergencies we need prayer for, so thank you. Any questions for the author? All right, Senate Bill uh, 203, again, Senator from Dahlonega. All right, that's a bill we did a substitute in transportation dealing with seat belts. Okay, I'm glad you told me that. Just trying to uh, be transparent. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, indeed. All right, uh, let's go back Sen Senate Bill 75, Senator Jackson. She's not here. Oh, there you go, okay. Such a delightful mem new member and it's hard to miss her, so I'm sorry I did, you're around the corner though. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman, I appreciate it. Um, I spoke with this uh, distinguished committee a few days ago about SB 75. It's very simple, it's a cleanup bill. Uh, a few years ago, this body decided that people who were victims of domestic violence, if they get a TPO from a judge, then they could take that TPO to their person that they're renting a house from and uh, get out of that lease um, in order to move to safety. So what I've offered and proposed here is that we do the same with people who have a TPO for stalking. This bill has bipartisan support. It's supported by the Apartment Association, by the realtors, and most importantly, it came out of Judy unanimously. So this is a good bill for Georgians. It helps keep people safer, and so I do hope that you will consider uh, and put this bill on our calendar. All right, any questions for the author? Thank you very Oh, Senator uh, from the 20th. I'm Mike Ten, uh, Senator Jackson. Yes, sir. Are you talking about a, I guess this would be a roommate that is stalking. Okay. No, no, sir. So this would be someone who has been stalked. I mean, it could be some, it would be some stranger, in fact. They couldn't live with them because of the way our laws are currently written. So, you know, this could be, uh, let's say, you know, you live in an apartment complex, but your colleague at work begins to stalk you, um, and they find out where you live, and they stalk you, and you go to a judge, okay. and you get a TPO, uh, and ultimately, many people who are victims of stalking conclude that they will feel safer if they just go ahead and move to a place where that stalker's not aware of where they live. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Uh, Senator Brass, I got you. Senator, is this your first bill? That's correct, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. All right, go. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I didn't know if uh, the, the new freshman senator had bowed before she'd come up to the podium, as you've had others. Ah. I just wanted curtsy. To, or curtsy. We'll, we'll get her next time. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, is that all? Any other questions? Oh, come on. Okay. I know you'll get me on the floor. I look yeah. forward to it. Uh, I would prepare for that. Thank you. All right, let's see. Senate Bill 229, we've already done 210, 214, Senator Seventh. What number are you? Uh, Five. Yes, okay. sir, Mr. Chairman. Um, spoke Go, about sir. this one before. It deals with the uh, emergency powers and firearms um, and uh, not being able to restrict the use or sell of yeah, during a declared issue. state of emergency. Uh, but uh, if appropriate, Mr. Chairman, we're uh, kind of working on some language and we kind of like to hold that one for the floor, not quite yet. Okay, well, you're the author, be glad to. So, all right, Senate Bill 210, no, I'm sorry, 214, we're gonna, 214, right? Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna hold by the author's request, okay. Y'all making my list small. All righty, uh, Senate Bill 219, Senator from the 47th. He's not, he had a funeral, that's right. That's, uh, he had a funeral in his family. Anybody know anything about that bill? What number is it? 219. Craft brewers, if they have oh, like oh, yeah, yeah. two different breweries, they can exchange product between the two locations. Yeah, that's no yeah. big deal. Yeah. All right, moving on. 
Senate Bill 220, the Georgia Civil uh, Civic Renewal Act, Senator from the 54th. You were trying to tell me something but uh, a minute ago, but keep going. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I would. This is the Georgia Civics Renewal Act it's to establish a commission on civics education. Uh, it's 50 member, uh, Georgia, the Georgia Commission of Civics Education, and that is a member, 50 member panel okay. comprised of executive appointments from the executive branch, the legislative branch, and also judiciary and private and public sector partnerships. All right, any questions for the author? Thank you. All right, Senate Bill 236, Senator from the 28th. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senate Bill 236, current law allows restaurants to sell beer and wine to go. This simply adds mixed drinks to that. Didn't we do this with last a, year? With a limit of two per do, adult do entree. Maybe I, was in, I wasn't uh, at my full self then. Oh, wine, wine, okay. All right. Good. To, yes, sir, you have something to add? Uh, it's one of your best subjects, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Senate Bill 246, Senator from the 28th. Yes, sir. Thing number seven. Thank you. Got a good short-term memory there, Mr. Chairman. I do. I'm old. Uh, so during the pandemic, we saw lots of families form uh, what, what became known as learning pods. They were uh, kids that were learning virtually. They were uh, grouping together in neighborhoods so that, you know, maybe one parent might stay with the kids and then the other parents go to work and they'd kind of alternate. Uh, what we've seen in some other states is there, some states are requiring licenses of these and, um, and just putting on some, some regulations that, that I want to make sure we don't do in this state. So this simply prevents any local boards or counties from putting any uh, undue restrictions on these learning pods. Any questions for the author? Hear none. Okay, Senate Bill 255. This is my bill and uh, the Georgia One Author uh, Authority Act. And uh, I, I live right next to Chattanooga, Tennessee. In fact, did I mispronounce something? Uh, one Georgia. What did I say? Say it. Say it. You're not getting your bill unless you tell me. Anyways, grant program dealing with uh, support border region uh, retail and tourism projects. Now, again, I live seven miles from Chattanooga, Tennessee. They're whooping my butt with uh, industry, I mean, not industry, but companies wanting to come in northwest Georgia, and they're going it right over the border because they have an incentive. Now, I just want to compete. This would also help any city or county that's on the border competing with uh, Phoenix City or... Uh, uh, Augusta, Augusta, yeah, Augusta. yeah, and, and again, it can't just be any podunk kind of issue or company. It have to be approved by the Department of Economic Development and uh, others too. So it wouldn't just be everything. So this would give us a little bit of competitive edge with those heathens in Tennessee and Alabama and South Carolina and Florida. They're all good folks. That's why we beat them so badly on the football field. All righty, Senate Resolution 39, Charlotte Nash, Senator from the 45th. Is he here? here. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pick that bill. Are you on to? Go ahead. Yeah, Charlotte Nash is a longtime county commissioner, probably served uh, 10 years or more. And before that, she was county what manager. Real good bill. And anybody who's got road, road naming bills needs to be on top of their game. We're going to have to amend those over in the House, in committee in the House, contrary to what our typical practice has been i think that the transportation chairman had a little there's premature. a transportation chairman here no. the premature legislation okay oh yeah that's right thank you <laughs> i'm glad short -term you know memory. <laughs> i mean y'all y'all live together don't you i just want to say it that way all right any other questions moving on Senate, uh, where am I? Senate Resolution 84, Airport uh, in in Infrastructure and Improvements. I can't see it on my glass on. Create Joint Study Committee rules. Wonder why? Oh, it's the Joint Study Committee. Senator from the 7th. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, we talked about this uh, when I presented it to the committee to create the 
Joint Study Committee on Airport Infrastructure Improvement and the way to fund that. Okay, any questions here? And I'm moving on. Senate Resolution 102, Georgia Commission on E-Commerce and Freight uh, Infrastructure Funding Creates Go. A lot, of, a lot of words for an important topic. It's just a continuation of the work that we started two years ago on freight and logistics, uh, joint commission with the House. And that's a joint uh, thing, okay. All right. We already did 134. Senate Resolution 143. We already did that, okay. Are there any other legislators here like to speak? Do you have something, Senator Kilpatrick? Senator Merritt, come on up. Okay, Senator Merritt, you want to talk about something that's coming up? Good grief. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I bring to the committee today a simple bipartisan bill that would basically clear up confusion on election day. Right. When we change polling locations, this bill will require a proper signage on election day. Well, current law is that sign goes up on election day. This bill will change that. The sign will go up prior, seven days prior to election day, as well as on election day. It will require a four by four sign at the original polling location, and there will be three other signs in the vicinity to make sure. Um, that everybody is notified that that location has been changed. So. Any question for the author? Very, very simple. And look, no, that's a good bill. Thank you. And we're doing our elections bill on, don't tell nobody, Monday. I know. Okay, so. Come <laughs> I back. know, but I want to put, put in an early pitch I know, for you guys look, to consider And let me this, tell you this. Because it's so complicated, you know. Oh, yeah, we forgot to do that. Good grief. <laughs> Y'all got to help me. I mean, look, I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing it all by myself unless Senator Cowser helps me. All right, let, let me tell you um, a couple of things, everybody. Monday, we're going to do elections. Uh, and if I had a bill and it hadn't been picked, I would be here every day. You don't have to. I just ask you to come once. And, in the, and y'all have filled out no information. Just tell me you want it. Now, and when the house fel uh, fellas and ladies start coming over, have you ever seen the big form you got to fill out over there? Oh, get ready. <laughs> You're ready. All right. Well, you, you may want to check with Senator Al on the appropriate decorum in this committee, your first bill. She'll show you the curtsy. She's got it. Got right. it. Thank you. Yes, yeah, <laughs> sir. Senator Brown, she got a question. <laughs> okay. This is my first bill. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, look. Oh, well, she don't have to bow. Just curtsy. All right. Uh, well, the, it's a chairman thing, and I'm just a really tight guy. All right, any other questions? Senator uh, Tiffins, come on, thank you very much. Thank you. Why aren't Tiffins' bills on here? Huh? They were all supposed to be on here. Oh, is that, is that what it is? Okay, all right. I've got three bills. One's an election bill, obviously, it'll be heard Monday. I've got two other bills I'd like to ask you to consider. Yes, sir. The first is Senate Bill 120. It con confers an honorary title on those prosecuting attorney attorneys who have prosecuted for 20 years and have served as a solicitor general. This bill mirrors what we have for, di for the DAs. It's an honorary title. It uh, involves no federal, I mean, no state funding. The second bill I'd like to ask you to consider is Senate Bill 144. It has to do with housing authorities. Under existing law, they're authorized to go 10 miles outside of the corporate boundaries of the political subdivision in which they were created. This bill does not stop them from going outside, but if they go into another s political subdivision, they would be subject to the zoning and building requirements in the political subdivision in which they go. Uh, I would encourage uh, you to uh, consider both these bills. They're good bills. And the, thank you very much. The uh, 144 is a local control bill because I think it's unreasonable to have one political entity go into another and not be subject to their requirements and regulations under the, under the guise of being an authority and being exempt from it. Any question for the author? Uh, hang on. Senator uh, 14th what, what, microphone. <laughs> I, I've forgotten what uh, committee this was in, but when you explained this bill in committee, this is an excellent piece of legislation. 
this going outside your own jurisdiction. Right. To you, you might have in our cities and counties, you might have Don't a get on housing authority from one city putting a, a project in another city. In another city that could be in another county. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I encourage you to pick this bill. It's a great bill. And 120 is a good bill, too. What bill number is it? 144. 144. And also 120, if you want to get in good with the solicitor's general, you can pick it as well. They'll always love you for it. That way, I'm all for it. All right, anybody else? Is there any other? Uh, Senator Hickman, did you have something? Okay, Senator Beach. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I don't have any that are on the yellow sheet yeah, but today, but I, I do have Senate Bill 98, which deals with freight and logistics. It was a caucus priority. We worked two years on the yeah. Freight and Logistics Commission. I think hopefully it'll be on on the next yellow sheet. And then I also yes. have Senate Bill 162, which uh, adds a judge in the Blue Ridge uh, Judicial Circuit, Cherokee County, which has grown. Yes. We haven't had a judge since 2006, so that hopefully will be on the next one also. And the two bills that I do really like is uh, on this sheet, just for your information, SB 142 and SR 135. I want to help the lottery in any way I can. And, and look, thank you for all the work you've done uh, through your political career to get us here. Thank you very I, I much. I recognize that and grateful for that. Thank you. Okay. Let me tell you the few bills we're going to hang on to just for a little while only because uh, I just need to read them. I hadn't read those bills and I just need to be a little more familiar with them. All right. Uh, we're going to hold a 102, uh, 166, 203, and 214. That don't mean the dead. We're just, we're just uh, moving forward. You got you to gotta write quickly. This way ain't on the farm. You ready? 102. Hold it. 102, 158. Uh, 166, 203, and 214. Don't read anything into this. All right. Let's pick some. Uh, Senator Butler. Senate Bill 75. Senator Beach. Sarah gone? Must be. Is Senator Beach gone? Uh, was he? He's not on committee. I'm sorry. I got you. Senator Kowser. I'll, uh, I'll come back to you. No, uh, that's good. I'll pick uh, Senate Bill 145. 145. Senator Lee Anderson. I pick Senate Bill 220. Senator Butch Miller. I like Senate Bill, uh, Senate Resolution 39. <laughs> I didn't do that. Senate Resolution 39, chicken. All right, Senator Mike Dugan. Uh, 152. 152. All right, we're just going down the list. Senate Bill, I mean Senate Bill. <laughs> Senate Bill John Albers. All right, well, I'll take Senate Bill 219, Mr. 219. 219. Where are we? 219, okay. All right, Senator Steve Gooch. All right, everybody's going to get a pick at least, so be looking that way. Senate Bill 165, thank you for that. Senator Tyler Harper, Osceola. SR 84, Mr. Chairman. SR 84. George's Rome, Chuck Huffsteller. Senate Bill uh, 92. Senate Bill 92. Dean Burke, uh, Dean Burke's gone to a funeral. He had a bill for me to pick. Do you know what that was? He didn't? Yeah. Okay. Well, anybody? Never mind. All right. Uh, Elena Parent. Thank you. I'll pick Senate Bill 236. 236. George's Augusta, Harold Jones. Senate Bill 78. 78. Y'all not picking the ones I want you to pick, so I'm going to have to do it myself. <laughs> All right, John Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, for our good chaplain, uh, Senate Resolution 143. 
I'm just trying to get in good graces with the, the cloth. I, I, I hear you, I hear you. Larry Walker, LW3, give it to me. Senate Bill 156. Senate Bill 156. Right. Matt Abras, Dr. Brass. Two, four, six. All right. All right. Has everybody gotten a pick that's here? Okay. Let me go down my list. Uh, Senate Bill 142. That's right. It's coming. Senate Bill 153. Yes, sir. That's another one. Senate Bill 163. Senate Bill. Senate Resolution 135. All right, how many we got here? And Senate Resolution 200. Senate Bill, sorry. Uh, uh, and Senate Bill 210. Right, I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 78, 19. Senator Cowles, give me another one. Yeah, yeah, just take a look. Oh, oh, I love the deal. I love the deal. All right, we'll stop there. Yes, sir. It's not available. It was second. Yeah, that's the only reason. All right. Well, yeah, all right, let me tell you uh, what we have. And also, let me tell you, I know all of y'all are busy like I am, but I am currently 228 texts behind since Monday. <laughs> so please forgive me if I hadn't gotten back to you. I'm a little overwhelmed. Don't know why. All right, I got to... Okay, here we go. This is what we got for tomorrow. Senate Bill 75, Senate Bill 78, Senate Bill 92, Senate Bill 142, Senate Bill 145, Senate Bill 152, Senate Bill 153, Senate Bill 156, <sighs> Senate Bill 163, Senate Bill 165, Senate Bill 200, Senate Bill 210, Senate Bill 219, Senate Bill 219. Senate Bill 220, Senate Bill 236, Senate Bill 246, Senate Bill 255, Senate Resolution 239, Senate Resolution 84, Senate Resolution 135, and Senate Resolution 143. Yes, sir? Mr. Chairman, did you have a Scribner error on Senate Resolution 39? Did I say 239? Sorry, I'm intoxicated this morning. I'm kidding, though. I know all the people watching on Cyberland believe everything I say, but I don't care. All right, Senate Resolution 39, and, and thank you, Mr. Leader, for pointing that out in front of God and everybody. All right. I'm looking for a motion. Okay, we have four motions. And second from Senator Miller. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed say no. Thank you. All right, we have lunch at noon. What time is it? It's 1121. All right. We have lunch at noon any in the uh, mess. Any of you that don't show up, I will be personally insulted. Your staff's invited too, and all senators are invited. We have varsity hot dogs and hamburgers and chips. Uh, we love, and uh, some onion ring. We love um, varsity uh, french fries and onion rings, but they're mushy time to get here, so we don't have those. Except for, huh? All righty. Y'all come and enjoy yourself. Thank you. I'll see you in a moment.